Firstly, I would like to thank Idea Clinics for organizing this wonderful conference. And so far, we had two excellent presentations. Now it's time for the third one. Okay. It's my pleasure to introduce Professor Subbaya Sridhar, and who is going to present an exciting talk of transgender endocrinology. Dr. Sridhar completed his MBBS in 2003 from Madurai Medical College. And his MD is from Jipmer, Puducherry. During that time, he received Best Outgoing Student Award. And subsequently, his DM is from PGI Chandigarh, which he finished in 2012. He received ESI Torrent Young Scholar Award and also AV Gandhi Award in 2012. He is a professor and head of the Department of Endocrinology and Metabolism at Madurai Medical College. He is a visiting consultant at Wada Malayam Hospital, Madurai. He was also a former treasurer of Endocrine Society of Tamil Nadu from 2015 to 2018. He is an organizing secretary of ESI Satellite Symposium in January 2020 and PAED Trendo in 2021. I welcome Professor Sridhar to come over to the stage. Yeah. And uh, so over to you, sir. Yeah. Good morning, one and all. At the outset, I would like to thank uh, Professor uh, Rakesh Sagai sir for uh, inviting me uh, to speak on this topic as well as the IDEA Clinics teams and I thank uh, the chairperson madam for uh, the nice introductions. And I will be focusing about uh, the transgender endocrinology. It is an, uh, uh, the broad thing I want to highlight because many of the times that awareness regarding this transgender among the uh, medical community or physician community is very less. So just I will be highlighting and we are running a clinic around it for the past two years under the government of Tamil Nadu in Madurai. So basically the sexuality and gender. So there are the various domains of gender and sexuality. So whatever the sex that is assigned at birth based on the external genitalia or the phenotype that is either male or female and the identity. So the one's self identity, it will be appearing at around five years, but predominantly at the time of adolescence and gender expressions so the the dress pattern and other thing that is expressions orientations means that is sexual attractions so there are various domains one should not confuse it all are not same so everything is a different assigned sex identical sex and expressed sex and orientation sex so the everything is different and it should be uh, taken into the appropriate context so this is the simple one that is the anatomical sex or phenotypical sex based on the things we assign that either it is a male or female and whenever it is not fixing or not matching or there is any discrepancy we will call them as a intersex but no one will give the certificate as intersex we have to assign a baby to particular sex whatever may be the intersex but for the, the school registrations and birth certifications we need some type of uh, assignment as a male or female. We don't assign as a trans in a, uh, in a birth baby or a, uh, a children. So it is all predominantly after 18 years of age and there is a, some legal uh, dilemmas are there in that situations. So basically this is the definitions of uh, transgender. The recent terminologies are gender dysphoria or gender incongruence. That is that the market and persistent incongruence between an individual's experienced gender and the assigned sex. So assigned sex may be a male, for example, but the experienced gender, that is identities is going to be different. That is a incongruence between the uh, experienced gender and assigned sex. It is uh, known as a transgender. And uh, some, uh, many of them, they want to undergo or desire to transitions through the hormonal treatment and surgery. Maybe a minor group, maybe a 10, 20 percentage, they don't want to any treatment. So still maybe they may be a transgender. And uh, so this is the uh, intersex, otherwise known as a DSD, disorders of sexual development or differentiations. So predominantly this uh, thing will be dealt by uh, pediatric endocrinologists or pediatric surgeons. And uh, so any discrepancy or uh, uh, atypical development of the chromosomal 
gonadal and anatomical sex so there is any discrepancy in these things it will will call as a intersex so both are not similar terminology both are different intersex and transsex and the transsex otherwise known as a transgender transsexualism gender identity disorder gender incongruence and gender dysphoria so these are all umbrella terms and it is been used by and various uh, uh, papers and various settings so this is the thing so the for example in a trans female that is a most common transgender category so the sex assigned at birth was male and karyotype will be xy and gonads uh, will be testes and penis and uh, maybe a prostate also inside and identity alone is different that is a female so that is known as a trans female the opposite is vice versa and uh, the second domain is a gender expressions so what they want to express once in the form of name pronouns the clothing or dress pattern the hair cut male pattern of hair or female pattern of hair behaviors and voice or body characteristics so these are all expressions that may be different in particular individuals and orientation is uh, the whom we are attracted physically and romantically that is the orientations and there are lot of confusions between the expressions identifications and orientation so we have to be clear cut in that uh, terminologies and uh, in the the physical uh, things then only we can able to fix up uh, some diagnosis to the particular persons so there is a individual enduring physical and emotional attractions to the another person and identity and orientations are not same and there may be a difference so this is in recent days it is becoming popular and the legal uh, uh, legality regarding the marriage of the same sex or uh, the different sex population so and uh, the almost the supreme court verdict has been Uh, pending and uh, uh, all the hearings are over that is uh, lgbtq btqi so the lesbian the gay the lesbian is uh, predominantly used for uh, uh, girl to girl gay is predominantly used for uh, the man to man and bisexual so predominantly in the uh, our uh, medical community the trans and uh, i the t and i will predominantly they seek some help to the medical society otherwise lgb predominantly the sexual orientation related issues and they don't come to us and predominantly they may go to psychiatrists or uh, that is individuals uh, uh, decisions making so the transgender and intersex they will seek some type of uh, attentions to the medical community here i am from uh, madurai it is south part of tamil nadu we cater us around 20 lakhs population it is one of the second big city in uh, uh, um, tamil nadu and we have running a transgender clinic it is almost uh, the 2 years old uh, last august 2021 it was started under the Uh, funding from the government of tamil nadu and the national health missions and uh, i hope that uh, 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 professor rakesh agai sir and other team they are planning to start transgender clinic at usmania general hospitals and hope we have given some guidance and other thing to help them to establish a transgender clinic so we are around 3000 uh, 3000 bedded hospital and it is a very old hospital similar to the usmania one and we have gender guidance clinic also so we running a clinic every uh, uh, thursdays and uh, every weeks and it is a multi specialty clinic so uh, myself endocrinologist and uh, in the clinic we have psychiatrist and plastic surgeons urologist and gynecologist also in our clinic so we have five minimum specialties are there and dermatologist and ent we send to their respective op otherwise all the in single roof we run a clinic and every week uh, between 10 to 12 and we have some protocols and uh, Uh, as per the guidelines we uh, do all the therapies and just i will highlight what we are doing this is one of the gazette of india notifications was uh, published in 2021 so the self identification is itself enough to label them as a transgender so they don't need to go to any psychiatrist or any medical professionals for the identification so identification is a self identifications so anyone can apply through the online portal to the social welfare department and they will scrutinize the some evidence should be there some home address or some evidence so based on the things the identification certificate will be easily they can get it through the online portal it is from the the government of india ministry of social justice uh, they have published this uh, uh, the guidelines so self identification sense self enough for identification of uh, trans male or female uh, like that so i will start with the case so this is the the common entity uh, uh, we come across and 23 year old graduate self uh, uh, as a reared as a male but self identified as a girl usually the self identifications changes pattern will take around 10 years or at the time of adolescence so many of the times parents who want understand their situations what is happening in inside mind 
so uh, definitely there is lack of support from the family they will come out of family and they join with some transgender community or they may live at, uh, alone and if otherwise wearing a female dress pattern and hair pattern so the uh, the uh, the real life experience as a female it should be a must before going uh, any irreversible surgical changing procedures and as a trans female they will avers with this hair growth and there may be a pineal erections and aversions towards the internal sexual part that is the main things they come out or they want uh, some surgical or some medical management for the things and that particular individuals want to undergo gender reassignment surgery like penectomy and archectomy so how to proceed so as a transgender management we have fully reversible therapy that is a hormonal therapy and some amount reversible that is a partial reversible like breast surgery removal or reconstructions and the uh, the ultimate uh, the irreversible one is a surgical procedures like archectomy or penectomy and hysterectomy or ophorectomy so these are all irreversible interventions so one should have mentally fit to undergo all these procedures and this is the why psychiatry is having role how any mental uh, changes or mental stability is there any substance abuse any other thing is there for uh, to address these irreversible uh, interventions whether this particular person is fit to undergo and this is the protocol what we are following so all the procedures will start after 18 years if they want anything and adolescent period we can give re reversible therapy like gene rh agonist like leprolide otherwise all the hormonal therapies and surgical it is been approved only after the 18 years that is a legal uh, uh, validity of that particular country that is been recommended in all the guidelines and uh, so the patients will approach to the clinics and uh, will evaluate and uh, we will how the uh, counselors also and the hormonal therapy will be done by endocrinologist at least minimum of 6 months that is been recommended and after the minimum hormonal therapy we will subject them for surgeries so over a period of times we evaluate again and again that how much mental stability is there and whether they fit to undergo and all other situations so before going or before doing or starting any hormonal therapy we have to rule out all the high risk groups like example any uh, smoking uncontrolled diabetes hypertension or hiv or uh, obesity and all any hypercoagulable state all the things to, should be ruled out because hormonal therapy also has high risk for uh, development of all these things and we do all basic workups many of the times transgenders they don't do they don't go for any health checkup purpose unlike the other populations in normal individuals so we do all these routine health checkup and including the lipid profile and liver functions and uh, blood glucose monitoring and thyroid functions hormonal assays are not mandatory however for uh, the intersex conditions or coexisting intersex conditions like cah congenital hyperplasia partial androgenesis disease syndromes we do hormonal profile and it is same single samples we do all the things in around 3 to 4 ml blood samples and coming to the male to female that is a most common trans female hormonal therapies in shiv shakti is in your uh, 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 the state or tirunanga in our tamil and uh, so there may be a we want breast growth and uh, they want breast growth and uh, the testicular uh, size reductions and uh, uh, the reductions and the erections so that is the main aim and we treat with these individuals with estrogen therapy so the most commonly used estrogens are ethyl estradiol that is a gynecologist is a very well uh, known about all these Uh, this estrogen preparations even though the ethyl estradiol also can be useful but predominantly the literatures and evidences are more with estradiol valerate 1 mg or 2 mg we start with low dose slowly escalate the dose over a period of 3 months or 6 months then the 2 mg or 3 mg or 4 mg slowly escalate uh, till adequate breast size has been developed and simultaneously so the absolute contraindications always we have to rule out and simultaneously we start with anti androgens also so most common anti androgens are spironolactone it is uh, quite cheap and well available and start with 25 to 50 mg and slowly escalate we can keep it around 100 mg at a maximum dose and uh, other options other drugs are available but commonly we don't do use it so the estrogens and anti androgens they are the more cornerstones in hormonal therapy for the particular individuals and adolescents we use otherwise it is a quite costly gnrh agonist and there are lot of changes we expect it will take some time like uh, uh, the uh, the hair growth reductions 
uh, the pineal erections reductions and breast size development the change in the body contour so it will take some times and we have to follow the individuals particularly over a period of times and uh, simultaneously we do monitor about testosterone and estradiols and in not all but ideally we have to monitor and moving to the the next uh, uh, sub category that is a female to male that is a trans male and uh, the most common uh, uh, indications for them to come is a breast so they want removal of the breast because there is a work plus workplace sexual violence and abuse are there and the body uh, figure or the change they want that breast is discomfort for them and uh, menstrual cycle also will be discomfort for them so they want removal of the breast and uh, uh, the menstrual disturbances and uh, so they uh, uh, they want a testosterone therapy for two purposes one is for the stoppage of menstruations and uh, uh, sometimes they may be having clitoromegaly that can be for the sexual uh, activities it will be useful and uh, we do uh, treat with these individuals with the testosterone therapy so it is uh, again commonly available 100 mg and 250 mg in india so start with low dose and give once in 2 to 3 weeks and over a period of time you escalate the dose based on the serum testosterone estimations and nowadays long acting preparations also available as a cernose that is a testosterone undecanovate it is available as a 1000 mg and uh, once in 3 months is enough this frequency of this long acting preparations again some expectations we may anticipate uh, uh, the clinical parameters like clitoromegaly stoppage of menstruation will be immediately within one dose or two dose the menstruation will be stopped so they are comfortable without menstruations and uh, uh, other wise changes also will happen over a period of 3 to 6 months period and that was the things and this is our uh, 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 previous sir was asking about the data so here we have almost uh, over a period of one and a half year we almost come across around 400 trans transgender individuals in our clinic over a period of two months so we don't advertise or anything they have some whatsapp group and they communicate each other so they uh, have uh, almost around 400 uh, transgender individuals so far visited in our transgender clinic of madurai and we do free of service all the things now it is included in the uh, our uh, health insurance also and couple of minutes i will finish it off so we have uh, uh, till now we have done almost uh, 150 surgeries and uh, 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 this is predominantly is done by our plastic surgery teams and uh, some two minutes i will finish and our plastic surgery teams uh, it is the main uh, part in doing all these things and surprisingly we have more more trans male and they are under recognized in society so more trans male that is a female to male and almost uh, predominant of our surgeries are uh, bilateral mastectomy and some they want to undergo hysterectomy or solving ophorectomy it was done by our gynecologist team so far we have done around four gynecologists uh, gynecological procedures and similarly the male to female many of them already underwent penectomy archectomy by outside our quarks and uh, so they do they come predominantly for the breast implantations and it is a quite costly implant itself around 60000 rupees cost and it is again it is done by our plastic surgery teams and uh, vaginoplasty also was done so the transgender prevalence is high in india almost in tamil nadu the expected is around 10000 uh, according to the recent uh, the otus population id so with a huge heterogeneity in diagnosis and care between the indian states so in kerala also some uh, procedures are going on kolkata and mumbai some four five states it is been uh, done in government institute and uh, very uh, designed way and very methodical way and the no uniform treatment protocol is available often ends with surgery from unqualified persons and with a lot of complications and uh, what we are do doing at madurai is just the tip of the iceberg and acceptance of transgender in the family as well as in the society uh, need a long way to go even many of our uh, 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 physicians community also unaware and where to refer these cases uh, this is a very lack of uh, uh, knowledge among even our community and multi speciality teamwork appropriate central and state government policy decisions in many aspects and providing the job opportunities and reservations will improve the quality of life so with that uh, this is the if anyone interested to read regarding the transgender this is the uh, the the literatures it is uh, freely available at google it is a uh, 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 w path that is the world professional association of transgender health and uh, uh, similarly kolkata also they have published some guidelines and this is from the endocrine society of guidelines so see, this is our uh, the the treatment team uh, 
that is it's not a it is a team that will save us and it will improve the quality of care and uh, it will share the responsibility uh, to the team and the uh, with this thing i uh, conclude my talk thanks for the kind attention and invitations wonderful talk due to time constraints um, one or two questions please Do you have that available at your service? Yes, uh, yes, madam. We have uh, the plastic surgery team is well available and neurological team also available and gynecologist. We are uh, uh, almost we running a DM endocrinology. We have very old uh, institute actually. So we have all the manpower available, but it is not exclusively given for transgender purpose. We do other support, other services and support like, and we this is extra this thing, but. Uh, Uh, we have involved in our uh, 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 each our department uh, it is not uh, they have given not exclusive manpower support for anything but uh, as a routine work we added at least from plastic surgery team they do at least two to three surgery per week that was their uh, their additional agenda additional the case work uh, they are uh, this thing otherwise the routine work everything is going on and they also have a lot of uh, 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 techniques and improvement in the technique and fine tunings of all the work and uh, it was been done thank you so much thank you ma'am